I'm going to show you a Bible prophecy today that is going to be fulfilled, and if you're a young person, surely you'll see it in your lifetime. Okay, I got my plowing and my telling done. We're going to do a Bible prophecy that you are going to see fulfilled in your lifetime. It's going to be lots of fun. But first, I have to throw a few knives. You know, the Bible's about half prophecy. Yeah, most people just take it allegorically and miss the fact that it's quite literal when it predicts the future. And I've seen in my lifetime quite a few prophecies be fulfilled. And there's more going to be fulfilled in the coming days. So, let's get into it. I'm going to turn to the book of Ezekiel here. And you're going to turn with me if you'd like to see what it has to say. I'm in Ezekiel chapter 47, beginning in verse 1. It's a prophecy of a river flowing out from under a rebuilt temple in Jerusalem and flowing down and healing the Dead Sea to the point that the Dead Sea, which is the lowest point on earth, totally salty, is going to rise and be full of fresh water and there's going to be a fishing industry on it and some of the finest vegetables and fruit grown on the banks that you've ever tasted. It's coming. Ezekiel 47, 1. After he brought me again to the door of the house, and behold, waters issued out from under the threshold of the house eastward. Now that's interesting. Waters coming out from under the temple, right on the temple mount. <laughs> and when the man had the line in his hand, he went forth eastward and measured a thousand cubits in verse 3. That's about 1,500 feet. It'd be a little longer. My cubit's 21 inches, uh, but they range from anywhere from 16 to 21 inches or so. And so 1,500 feet from the temple, the water was up to his ankles. He went another 1,500 feet, and the water was up to his knees. Went another 1,500 feet, and it was up even to his chest, and then when he went another 15, which was about 6,000 feet, or a little over a mile, the water was so deep, he was swimming in it. And it ran downhill for about 19 miles till it hit the Jordan River in the north end of the Dead Sea, healed all that desert, he talks about, all the way out, and the sea rises. And then he says, the east country, go down to the desert, go down to the sea, being brought forth to the sea, the water shall be healed. Verse 8, and it came to pass, that everything that liveth, which moveth, whithersoever the rivers shall come thither, for they shall be healed, and everything shall live, whether the river cometh, these shall come to pass, and the fishers shall stand upon it from Engedi. Now, I have been to Engedi. Engedi is a spring with water flowing um, six inches deep, a mm, couple feet wide, maybe beautiful place in the desert everything's dead around it except they've used the water to irrigate a, a few little crops over about five or ten acres there and everything else is just rock and sand and you walk just a short distance down to the sea and you walk into the dead sea right now and when you get in about chest deep your feet come off the bottom and you start floating you cannot go underwater in the dead sea all of that's going to rise up uh, many many feet and flow back into the uh, surrounding area. And then it's interesting how specific he says. He says, The miry places thereof and the marshes thereof shall not be healed. They shall be given to salt. Now right now it's just giant salt deposits, like salt figures, like standing around everywhere. And by the river upon the bank thereof, on the side of that side shall grow all trees for meat, whose leaf shall not fade, neither shall the fruit thereof be consumed, it shall bring forth new fruit according to his month, because 
their waters that issued out of the sanctuary, right under the temple, and the fruit thereof shall be for meat, and the leaf thereof for medicine. So get ready. A lot of people go to the Dead Sea now for the therapy of salt and mud and <laughs> being able to float and read a book. But there will come a time when you won't be able to do that. You'll go take your rod and catch yourself a fish and go over and pick fruit off of a tree and eat it. Bible prophecy, it will come to pass because all Bible prophecies come to pass in time. All right, I got to get back. I got more work to do. 